The Muslims, as you see, who have come to the corner regularly, they think that they're champions in the Dawah team of beating us Christians. But all of the Christians who are regulars in the park, put your hand up if you're a regular Christian in the park. Put your hand up. A regular, up. Put your hand up. Right. How many times have you seen the Dawah team run away from the Christians like Hatun and myself? They always run. Adnan Yashid runs away. Shamsi runs away. Mansour runs away. They run away because intellectually the Dawah team are beaten. They used to argue, they used to argue that all of their Qurans were the same. Yes, that's right. And you're allowed to heckle. That's right. Here we have an example of the white middle class of England and their sense of self-entitlement. That is what they have. So, don't let's don't let's draw back in. Don't feed the trolls, guys. Don't feed the trolls. The Dawa team are beaten. They used to argue that all of their Qurans are the same. Dot for dot, letter for letter, word for word. They don't argue that anymore. Now they say that there are seven Qurans that are one Quran. Hafs Quran, Wash Quran, Duri Quran. How many Qurans is that? One or three? Marxism failed the USSR. Marxism failed China. Marxism failed Vietnam. Marxism failed Cuba. Marxism failed Poland. Marxism failed Ukraine. Marxism failed everywhere they tried to implement it. No. The Dawa team used to argue that Jesus Christ was never crucified. But we know that Jesus was crucified. Hi to your friend. Hi there. Failed in Venezuela. Failed in Poland. Failed in Ukraine. Failed in Hungary. Failed in Colombia. Failed in Cuba. Failed in Warsaw. Failed in Russia. Revolution is destruction. The price of communism was a hundred million lives in one hundred years. Those who support communism are as bad as the Nazis. Trouble, trouble, trouble. Great speech. Trans women are men. 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 Tweeted by uh, what's her name, the sexy cook. Who is the sexy dark haired Nigella? Nigella, Nigella Lawson. Has retweeted a really beautiful <laughs> came from the heart. A really be a really interesting article written by someone who was saying what you're saying and then had her nephew become was trans and her journey through that. I really, I have a look on Twitter. Well no, I, I believe you. I'll take you at your yeah. word, but that doesn't change the fact that trans women still are men. Read the article and see what you think. Okay. It's just a different I'll, way I'll, if I get time it. I'll look it up. Trans women are men! 
Trans women are men. Trans women are men. Yes, they do. Trans women are men. 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 Yes, they do. But they're still men. She wants to stand here, bro. I'm sorry. 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 I'm
That's really nice. I hope you guys have a good day. Communism has killed a hundred million people. Don't believe the Marxists. Communism has killed a hundred million people. Don't believe the Marxists. Communism has killed a hundred million people. Don't believe the Marxists. Communism has killed a hundred million people. Don't believe the Marxists. Excuse me. That's yes. actually wrong. It isn't. The fucking something's wrong. It isn't. It is. It's not wrong. It is. Absolutely yeah. true. Anyway, have a good day. Don't push. Don't push. Don't push. Don't push. Fat capitalism. Thank you very much. for men and women. It's not subjective, it's just science. Deal with it. When you're having children, you'll be teaching your children this kind of hate. You want that place as well for hate. Go worship your dick. Go worship your dick. Because dicks don't belong in our spaces, babe. That's what I do. That's what I do. Do you have a husband? Do you have a boyfriend? Do you have a child? The dick is in your space. Go find them. Go back yourself. Anybody who has a dick is in your space. Thank you. 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 If you support communism, you're as bad as a Nazi. You're as bad as a Nazi. Anyone who supports Marxism is as bad as a Nazi. Go and look at the gulags. Go and look at the millions who died at the hands of communists. You are in bed with Marxists. Marxists killed a hundred million people. Listen, mate, you're causing problems here. No, I'm not. I'm just having a talk. Today. Yeah. Um, you know what I mean? You're sort of standing out like a sore thumb. And? All right. With respect, but what's the problem? There's a speaker's corner. Yeah, I know it's speaker's corner. All right. Uh, it could go wrong. It could be a breach of the peace. Do you understand what I mean? Who would breach the peace? Me or them? Peace. But who would breach the peace? Me or them? Anybody. Tempers get raised, don't they? Yeah, they do. People get upset. But it's about self control. Right. So I just pulled you to one side. Okay. To stop anything like that going wrong. Do you understand me? I understand what you're doing, officer. Right. I don't speak as well. History, freedom of speech. Very true. Very true. Very true. Except, except when the communists are here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Except when the communists are here. The problem the leaders actually on the project of silencing Christians. Yeah. And this is why you get this. You get everybody here. You are. You are. You get everybody here. They want to silence Christians in this country, and they want to let SJWs speak to everybody. You start conspiracy. Fools. They don't like you. Weak. Weakly. I understand what you're saying, officer. I won't go back over there. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. I'll stay here, but I'm not going to stop criticising Marxists just because there are a bunch of Marxists here. Yeah. Well, we're all moving into the park now, anyway. So if you stay here, that's fine. Okay. I'm, I'm not going to go back into the crowd, but I am going to criticise Marxism from here. Are we agreed? Is that all right? Is that happy? Freedom of speech, mate. You can do that. Thank you very much. Okay. Let's talk about Marxism. Right, where's Karl Marx buried? What? Where's he buried? He's in London, buried in London. Where, where in London? Oh, I don't know exactly where. Highbury. Highbury, Highbury. Did you, know he, did you know he traded in the stock markets at the end of his life? Oh, he did. What yeah, he abandoned his own ideas. When you need the police, when you've got a the first man to do it. Nope. Right, anyway. Thank you very much, officer. Have a lovely day.
to protect us. Marxism is responsible for the deaths of a hundred million people. If you support a Marxist ideology, you are as bad as a Nazi or as a fascist. The gulags of Russia led to the death of 20 million people at the hands of Stalin. More than one, then. Chairman Mao and his cultural revolution led to the death of 40 million people. The communists are responsible for the blood of tens of millions of people and they have hijacked the cause of injustice that is suffered by Afro-Americans in the USA. They have co-opted it for ideas that are not intrinsic to tackling the problems that are faced by the Afro-Caribbean community in America. I'll get to that. I will. The problem that is faced in America is about the poor training of police. That is what it's about. Millions of Christians died at the hands of communists. Black Lives Matter don't care about the lives of tens of thousands of Christians in Nigeria who are being butchered by Islamists. They have nothing to say about that. Black Lives Matter have nothing to say about the trading in black slaves of Africans by Islamists. They've got nothing to say about that. Black Lives Matter have adopted a narrative that is true, that is true to the USA about the plight of Afro-Caribbean Americans, but is not true to the UK. The Afro-Caribbean community of the UK arrived in the UK under entirely different circumstances to that which led to the Afro-Caribbeans arriving in the Americas. Afro-Caribbeans came to the UK as free citizens from free countries given to them by colonial powers, independent of those colonial powers, as a free choice. Yes, there were abuses. Yes, there are injustices. But they are not the same kind of injustices as the Afro-Caribbeans are facing in the USA. It is a totally different set of circumstances. Afro-Caribbeans in the USA arrived as a result directly of the slave trade. And the injustices that they face is that when they were emancipated from slavery, they started at the bottom of society. And those indifferences, those imbalances were never corrected. And so there is a need to tackle those injustices. But we must not supplant narratives that are true to the USA to the UK as if they are the same thing. More white people have died at the hands of the police than black people, both in the USA and in the UK. That's just what the stats tell us. But the media doesn't focus in on it when it's a white man dying at the hands of ill, properly trained police. The issue is about police training. The fact of the matter is that American police are recruited not federally, but by each state. So there is no uniformity in recruitment, background checks or training before they are armed. The issue that needs to be tackled is the level of training that American police officers receive before they are given a gun and the license to use it. That's the real issue. There is an issue of poverty that needs to be addressed. 
But let's be clear, America has done much to address those injustices. Every office in America is now open to every citizen of America if they have the merit and incidentally the money to get there. As evidenced by Condoleezza Rice, Powell or Barack Obama, the highest officers of American state have been run by people of color. It is wrong to say that America is racist today. There are aspects of America that still need to be corrected, absolutely. But the mantra of the Marxists is to kidnap and manipulate these injustices, to co-opt these injustices to a wider agenda that has nothing to do with sorting out these agendas, but rather has everything to do with carrying out the wishes of a malevolent ideology known as Marxism that has been responsible for the millions, the deaths of hundreds of millions of people. So, he says that I'm lying. He says that I'm lying. If you allow me a minute, I will correct you. Allow me to correct you. What we have is another triggered lefty who can't do reasonable debate because they're all whipped up on emotion and they are unable to reason. That is the failure of liberal progressive thought. It whips people up into hatred rather than reasonable discussion. No, he says that neoconservatism has led to the deaths of hundreds of millions of people. He is absolutely right. It has led to the deaths of hundreds of millions of people. Luckily for me, I am not a neoconservative. I am a Christian, not a neoconservative. But does the fact that neoconservatism has led to the deaths of hundreds of millions of people change the fact that communism has also led to the deaths of hundreds of millions of people. Can these truths not be true at the same time? Are they mutually exclusive? This is the incognitive dissonance of an Islamist. And he is an Islamist. He supports terrorist groups. Do you condemn Hamas? Yes. There you go. He is an Islamist. He is an Islamist. Yeah. White bastard. There we go. White bastard. The anti racists are here calling white people white bastards. He's grabbing other people's legal property. He's grabbing people's. You don't have the right. It's the police. So let's put this back on film. Yeah. Please. Sorry, he's a bit stressed. Sorry. All right. What the Islamists. So there you go. The Islamists in the park often go around calling me a white crusader. Why do they want to do that? For the emotive reaction that they hope to engender. But I condemn anyone who kills without just cause. Anyone who attacks Muslims like the terrorist did in New Zealand. I condemn him outright. He was wrong. But when I asked him about whether he condemns Hamas, 
an anti-Semitic group that killed Jews outside of Israel, civilians in Argentina. He said, Hamas are freedom fighters. And then he called me a white bastard. So who's the racist and who's the Islamist? And that's the problem with the liberal progressive left. They have abandoned reasonable debate and all they have is emotive name calling, stirring up the emotions. But if you do the same to them, they accuse you of dog whistle politics whilst doing dog whistle politics themselves. There are reports coming out of Portland, America of a Trump supporter who held a plaque saying blue lives matter. In other words, he was saying that the lives of the police matter. He was killed by Antifascista, that terrorist organization that the British government allows to operate freely in the UK. He was killed and the Antifascista celebrated the death of this man. It was recorded on video, them saying that they do not care that this man died. But imagine their reaction if someone was to say that about their deaths, if someone killed one of them. Imagine the mourning, the platitudes, the laying of flowers on the ground, the demand that all the world should mourn with them. But yet they celebrate the deaths of others quite freely. Well, the Bible has a response for all of you that God takes no joy in the death of the unrighteous. He takes no joy in the death of sinners. It breaks the heart of God when anyone dies without knowing or accepting his love. So which is better for our world? The narrative of hate spewed by the left the Marxists, the liberal progressives, their spiteful, vengeful, hateful, envy of the other, or the hatred of the right who despises people for no reason at all except for the colour of their skin, or the hatred of the Islamists who say we support anti-Semitism in Hamas, we seek to oppress the Christian and the Jew. We will kill apostates like the Muslims in the park say regularly, like Ali Dawa or Mohammed Hijab, or the way of the Christian that celebrates the death of no one, the righteous or the unrighteous. In fact, the only deaths we celebrate are those of our martyrs those who die for the faith, those who die for the gospel, those who die for the cross. That is our way, to love all and to have hatred for none. But don't mistake that with pacifism. Christians are not pacifists. We do not follow a doctrine of pacifism as a moral obligation. We simply do not seek revenge.